Hey guys, so today I'm continuing my Roji Biv series with my favorite orange polishes. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say most of these are peachy because I'm not the biggest fan of like true, true oranges, but I do have a few that I've liked a lot. So I'll go ahead and get started. So the first one is China Glaze Riveting, and this came out in the Hunger Games collection, and it is just a very intense, like fiery orange, very bright with like some gold shimmer in it. This is very, very shimmery, but if you catch it in the sunlight, it's absolutely amazing. The next one is Essie's Brazilliant, and this is from the Brazilliant collection. This was a few years ago. It's actually one of the first Essies that I ever purchased. And this is just a really gorgeous, like, true orange with a hot pink shimmer slash flash. I think it's more of a flash than a shimmer, but it's really, really gorgeous, again, especially in the sunlight. This next one is China Glaze Sun Worshipper, and this is the neon, I guess, of my picks. I have Orly's Melt Your Popsicle, which is much more of a true orange neon, but I don't really like the way that those kind of colors look on my skin as much as this, which is more of a yellow orange. So this is one that does have to be layered over white because it is like a true neon, so it dries matte and it is kind of sheer on its own, but if you layer it over white, you'll get like the exact color in the bottle and you won't have to have a ton of coats to do it. This came out in the Poolside collection, which was quite a few years ago, uh, but you can find it on Amazon, I think, Probably any of these, minus the Lime Crime that I'm going to show you, you could probably find on Amazon. This next one is China Glaze Son of a Peach, and this came out in the collection last year. I believe it was called Sensational, uh, the summer collection, and this is bordering on that neon pastel kind of polish where it's very, very bright, but it's still pastel color at the same time. It's really weird. Um, this dries to kind of a satin matte. It's a little streaky but it's definitely worth it for the color because it's this amazing, like, bright, vibrant peach color. This next one is Peachy Keen, and I think this is kind of a cult favorite China Glaze polish. Uh, it's much more pastel and a little more peach and less orange than Son of a Peach is. It is just a lot, lot softer than the previous polish, but it's still very, very gorgeous. I really like layering this under... Um, iridescent kind of shredded glitter or just any kind of iridescent glitter. I find that that looks really nice. This next one is another peach. This is Essie's Accrued Interest. This one is kind of sheer. It can be kind of annoying to work with to get it, you know, fully opaque. But um, it's a lot more of a pinky peach color. There's a lot more pink in it than uh, Peachy Keen. And it's just a little more of like a nude kind of neutral color. But I do really, really like this. I didn't get this when the collection first came out. It was from the Navigate Her collection, I believe, which was 2012, maybe? I remember wanting it, but I didn't get it then. I ended up getting it um, a few months back, I believe, and I really, really like this. So the next one is from Lime Crime, and this is Peaches Love Cream. And I'm telling you right now that every Lime Crime polish that I have will probably be in its respective color category for the series because I love them. They are neon pastels, um, kind of how I described Son of a Peach from China Glaze. They are very, very bright and like really eye-catching on the nail, but they're pastel at the same time. It's really, really weird and hard to explain, but you'll see in the swatch, these are absolutely amazing. You do need a top coat with these because they dry to kind of a satin matte finish, but they are amazing. So the next one is more of a coral, but for me, when I think about coral, I always want to categorize it more into orange than I do pink. So this one is Trout Pout from Butter London, and I don't really like corals that much in general anyway, but I do really, really like this one. It's just like the perfect coral color. It's kind of a salmon-y kind of coral, I don't know, but I do really, really like this. These are really expensive, and I'm sure you can find a very comparable dupe from a cheaper brand. It's just going to take a little bit of looking, but I would Google dupes for this because I'm sure other people have already found them. I have my one texture polish. This is Zoya's Beatrix, and I have, I think, three orange textures from Zoya, and this one always stands out as my favorite. It's very, very bright orange with very, very strong gold shimmer, and it's just, it's really, really gorgeous. It's almost like if you took China Glaze Riveting and made it lighter and made it a texture, uh, it's like that. It has that same level of gold shimmer, and it's just, it's gorgeous. My indie for this color category is from Lack Attack, and it is, I have to say this slowly, 
Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. It's from a Harry Potter themed collection and it's just a really gorgeous glitter mix of um, I don't want to say yellow but it's more of like a very bright orange and a medium orange and a dark orange uh, hexes and then these very fine bar glitters as well and it actually it sounds really weird but this looks really amazing over a cobalt blue like uh, Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. It looks really, that's what I'll swatch it over, because it looks really cool over that, and you guys need to see it, but yeah, this is from Lack Attack, and I will link Lack Attack down below so you can find this if it's still available. So yeah, those are my favorite orange nail polishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.